Hello and welcome to for Pep TV with Roger Sterling. Thank you very much. And we are going to be commentating over Gen Genesis. Don't ever put your Okay, cool. You're just pressing start. Sorry, this is a bit unprofessional. Well, I mean, it's shocking from Genesis. You should never have done that. Uh, Genesis is in the orange, uh, wrapped in the black. What do you think of today's game? Well, I, I'm a bit confused because I'm I'm usually a rugby commentator, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Um, you, I'm sure you'll be absolutely yeah, fine. Okay, so but that's a, a great orange. shot. I don't really... Uh... So that's Genesis in the orange. Oh, okay, it's a right. great shot there from uh, Pjanic. Um, I think he's of Eastern European descent. Pjanic. Yeah, it nice. sounds... Serbian. Cristiano Ronaldo there with the header. It's gone wide. You expect him to put those away, don't you? It's interesting because they look like sun lollies. So, oh, what? The Genesis kit? Yeah. Absolutely ball out. Shocking kit. Probably the worst kit in the pep. That's not very nice, is it? Yeah, but I don't like him, do I? So, uh, it's, uh, it's not all not to be unkind. So, so, so the, the sun lollies have the ball. Yeah, yeah. So that's David Silva. Jinking runner. And he's given it away. That's shocking. Giving it away to Gaetan. Harry Kane through on goal. He's got to put this away, doesn't he? That's that's really not. that's really poor. You'd put that away, wouldn't you, Rog? Uh, no, no, I don't have any legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's some ugly guy. Harry Kane's he's, he's yeah. not he's not he's not that ugly. He's just got a massive chin. What's the one that? Oh, it's Gareth who's going bald. Not that Gareth. What? Other Gareth. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Oh, yeah. His ponytail that sits yeah. to the side. And so the Sun Lollies have the ball again, and the team of referees are just stood around <laughs> watching. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't write off the team of referees so far. That's a ball over the top. Baines on the ball. Shocking pass. Um, I mean, it's it's nearly half time, and we've not seen really any action. Well, here we come. I think this is a bit uh, of action uh, right here. E oh, that's a great tackle. I thought there. I thought that was a fantastic tackle. Okay. Referee's given it away. Do you reckon he's one of those guys that just wants to put his mark on the game? He's got no, a bit of an ego. He just looks like someone you'd meet at the bar at Weatherspoons. <laughs> but he's there like, fuck off, the toilets are over there. <laughs> okay, here we are. Right. Yeah, the referee is back with the ball. How is that allowed? Is that allowed? Okay, that was, def that was a definite penalty. Yeah. He's got to put that away. Oh, what was the what was the keeper doing? Uh, I don't know. Looked like someone but, snipered um, him in his left knee. Red ball rapid. Plural or what? Yeah, you got to do better with the grammar there. But uh, that's it's gone in the back of the net. That's a decent little finish. But look at the look at the keeper. Yeah. Sort of tripped over his own shoelace. Um, so what are these? Um, why are there so many reflections on the pitch? On what the, are those um, shadows for? So the shadows are actually the the. Uh, yeah, but which, which stadium, the stadium is meant to be? So this is the Hofstede Stadium. Oh, and that's a header to the back stick. Um, yeah, it's actually quite annoying to have the shadows on the. Said. I mean, yeah. do you know I just think it's a bit pointless because it's not actually real. So. Well, it is real. It's it, the pep. It's not. It's not real. <laughs> yeah, right. For the millionth time. Um, pe so the pep Sanchez, is real. David yep, Silver. David Silver in. He's gone for the shot. Then it's a great save from Loris. Oh. Oh. Genesis need to keep hold of the ball a lot better here. They're just giving it away. It's Crows here. He's giving it away again. See, what I don't understand is, is how, Ooh, like, that that's great goal finish. Score, oh, Harry Kane. Harry Kane, the crimson yeah. chin again. Oh, come on, lads, get in. He Let's have blind. a photo. He looks blind. Well, he certainly knows where the goal is, doesn't he? Yes. And um, put it in the back. Put it in the back of the net again. Absolute class. This guy is on top form at the moment. He's killing it. Have some of that, Genesis. There you go. What a beautiful piece of skill. Split through the two defenders. First time, Harry Kane, bosh, back into the back of the net. Have some of that. That's 2-0 now. Ratty, Matuidi, can you play it forward? What are you playing at? What are you playing at? Harry Kane, he's gone for the 1-2 with Gaetan. Bing! That is beautiful football there from Genesis. They're taking the mick now. That's Kane's second. And really and truly, they're going to be looking back at this and just say they've given it away themselves. I mean, the score now 3-0. It's really, really unfair because I think they've played really well. They've just given the ball away. And Kane is not messing. That is a beautiful finish. Contender for goal of the month. That's a ball over the top. What have they done again? They've given it away. And Cristiano Ronaldo. You see, my thoughts and feelings here is Ronaldo could see Kane taking all the glory and thought, Do you know what? If they give me an inch, I'm going to go in there and take a mile Pick that out of your net, son. That is shocking defending again from Genesis. 
absolutely woeful. Um, it's a shame. Genesis, the first game of the season, a 4 0 defeat. A 4 0 defeat to um, Rapid. But surely you weren't expecting that. Um, what's, what's your thoughts and feelings on this result and um, just what happened? Well, of course, it's very, very disappointing. I mean, um, I never go into, I go into a game feeling that we can win every single game we play in. But I think the most disappointing thing about that is that we never really imposed ourselves, you know. It's our first game of the season. You could tell we started very tentatively, very nervous. And we, we kind of gave them that momentum to build on, to be fair. And that, that's the most frustrating puffing on my part is that we never got going. Um, a penalty was given. It wasn't a penalty, but, you know, these things happen in real life and it's just a game. So, you know, after that, one nil down, very disappointing. Tried to impose ourselves a little bit more, but we was just making silly mistakes. And give credit to Rapid is that he was punishing us for that, you know. He was, Harry Kane was very lively, those balls over the top. We found it, you know, difficult to struggle with that. And um, we was kind of like playing in our own half most of the time. Second half, we got a little bit better, imposed ourselves a bit, had a lot of possession without creating anything too clear. Um, and then under counter-attack, he's got players that can really kill you. So, um, like I said, we'll shrug our shoulders off. You know, we're, we're, we're very confident in our ability, but, you know, worse than the, the defeat is the man of the defeat itself. And we just honestly don't feel like Genesis, well, Rapid that played, really played Genesis today. But good on him, you know, emphatic win, three points in the bag and a few goals. So, well done to Rapid. Uh, rapid, RB Rapid, a very happy manager. We can see on your face there. Uh, congratulations on your second win of the season. In two wins in two games, six points, and two clean sheets, even more impressive. Uh, what's your thoughts and feelings on the game? Genesis were considered by many to be favourites um, this year, amongst the favourites to compete for the title albeit it's early days, but to take them apart in the manner that it seems you have. I mean, give us some insight into what, what's happened tonight. First of all, credit to Genesis. They were on time for the fixture, which I think is a big thing in the pep. No one's got time to be, to be messing around. And Genesis, in my experience, they're very organised when they come to such things, you know. And yeah, it was interesting because we both set up with very similar formations both went 4-3-3 three, three. and um, yeah you know uh, it was I suppose just going to be who would get that first goal which was critical very even encounter that first half I think when people watch it back they'll see it, it was very much a two and a throw uh, to the first half and to be fair I caught a lucky break um, I wouldn't have said it was a blatant penalty but Kane you know, was really just testing their lines. And, you know, major, major shout out to the wingers as well, because they were, they were causing all kinds of problems. And we got that break and we were able to build from there. Considered favourites and I think with um, a rightful reason, Genesis are always a strong team, very strong squad from top to bottom, very well managed. But I think on this occasion, we were set up in a way that I thought would, might surprise them. I thought they might think that we were going to go three at the back with the success that we had against Zebra with that. However, we thought we'd match them. They said some things to us last season about being more attacking and showing it on the pitch. So that was definitely my motivation, not only to score one goal, but to score, you know, a lot of goals and create a lot of opportunities. And, you know, looking at the stats, we... We, we didn't have a lot of the ball. They definitely uh, had more of the ball than us. But I think when you look at the opportunities that we, we created, that's, that's, that was the difference. And we had people that could finish, um, creating 10 shots and, and, and on target for five. And, of course, four of those going in. So we're very happy with the training that we've done and just looking for continuity as we look to go forward. Speaking of creativity, chances creative and chances being taken, it seems a lot of credit must go to your attack here. Um, and um, the Genesis man manager mentioned Harry Kane. But what about your defence? Because as I said before, and that's two clean sheets in a row now, which I feel is, is, is very impressive in this league, considering the opposition you've had to play. Uh, what, what have you got to say about that? Yeah, I mean, Zebra 
and Genesis are cracking opposition. You know, far be it for, from me to say what I'm doing that's right. All I can say is that I am practicing a lot. And when I say practicing, I think it's about intensity. It's about the quality of the opponents that you're practicing against. You know, essentially sparring against high intensity all the time because that's what the pep represents. It's it's a different brand of of esports, and if you're not prepared to to come up against that, you're gonna you're gonna come a cropper. And I'm sure there's gonna be testing times for us in the pep this season when we might come a cropper. However, it's about staying calm, having faith in your players and your tactics, and surviving. That's, that's what this is. It's a survival survival contest and. Whoever is brave enough will come top at the end of the season. Okay, so it's Chris Clark and Roger Sterling. And we are going to be watching with you the pet match in Tianan versus Stoic City. What do you think of the two lineups here? Well, I can't really see them. Oh, they've so... gone and cut it again. Just... So where are they playing today? Um, so they're actually playing at the Piazza del Pachico. Is this real? Yep, this is a real game. Um, it's a great tackle there by Umtiti. Great. Do you like that name? Umtiti. 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 That's a beautiful through ball to Sterling there. Uh, he's cut it back. What's he got? Good tackle. Played it back into De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Thiago. He's keeping the ball very, very well here. Classic stoic. Oh, he's played it through. Messi. And this is the problem. It was messy, or it is messy. It's, everything's messy. The defending was messy. The finish was messy. Well, actually, I think the finish That's was beautiful. That's actually such a great surname. What to have the surname Messi? Messi. Yeah. Messi. I mean, listen. Messi. He left. He left the left back in a bit of a mess there on his back, and he's uh, he's put it away. That's one nil. It's so difficult to play against, though, don't you think, Richard? Roger. Roger, sorry, sorry. I can't believe you come here and forget my name. Um, listen, it was a very, very last minute call to get you into the studio today. It was. It was and, very um, hard for me. I had to crawl here, you know. Yeah, because obviously you don't have any legs. I have no legs. You don't always need to talk about the fact that you don't have legs. You're here to commentate on football. Yes, but I find that it makes it more, you know, I can commentate more realistically if people know I have no legs. Oh, that's a great save there. You could have done that with your no legs. Oh, bounced off the corner flag. We never see that happen. What, bouncing off the corner flag or taking the mick out of the fact that you have no legs? The latter. Sorry. Anyway, so... Um, Fantastic who, save. So, um, uh, Mr. Cobby won yes. last year. Yes, he did. That's nice. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's very, very good. And I think Inti and Anna are going to find it very difficult against him. Tiago in the midfield again. Plays it out wide to the left-back Marcelo. That's a... Fired in! To Sterling's feet there. Oh, jinking turn. Can he put it through? Yes, he can. De Bruyne. He's got to put that one away. Oh, it's snapped through here. Busquets holding it in the midfield. Boateng. You were a bit slow on that. What, with, with, with the commentary? The yeah. Oh, do you want me to do it really quickly? Good, Messi. Need... Yeah, and shout more. I, I can't shout. We don't want to ruin the audio. Can we whip it into the box? Get it into the box. Yes, we can. Boom! That's a header and that's a goal. Better. Stoic. 2-0 up. My man, Costa. My favourite, actually. My favourite striker. He's the meanest. He's the keenest. And he's going to put the ball in the back of your net. Have some of that. Diego Costa doesn't play games. Why is he such a nasty man? Why is he such a nasty man? I think he had a very troubled childhood, to be fair. And I think that all that pent-up frustration, he punches into the gut of his nemesis. Great tackle in there, Thiago. Uh, played out wide. Lukaku. Lukaku indeed. Busquets. Just keeping the Sounds ball like ticking over. Biscuits. Biscuits. We'll say yeah. biscuits this time. Turns out in the centre of midfield. Finds another pass. He's just strolling there. Bruyne. Messi. Lukaku. Good luck. Getting back from this one. Do you like that one? Oh, so you can choose to do a celebration. That's you can clever. choose to celebrate. And uh, it is very clever. But it's not clever being 3-0 down against Stoic. Because you know you ain't coming back from this. Or is he? Or no, is he? he's just giving it away then. Messi. Now look at the pace at which Stoic attack. It's like an absolute onslaught. Surely, luck, luck. Really... Boom. Oh, it's... Unfortunately, he's no. got to put that away. 
so difficult to play against. You reckon? How do you fare against Lukaku? I mean, it's not real because it's just pixels on a screen. That's and just it's surely your... all predetermined anyway. In what sense could it be predetermined? I don't know. Like surely the speed is set by the by the programmers. The programmers. Yeah, and you just think maybe is this some sort of is this some sort of sick conspiracy (laughs) against the pair? The Truman Show, actually. The Truman Show. Well, guess what? I'll tell you what is true: the fact that Inter are struggling here. Busquets ball over the top to Lukaku. Lukaku into Messi. Messi back out to Lukaku. He's striding forward there. Rudiger, can you put in a tackle? No, he can't. Lukaku's cut it back, and that was a really, really great game. Great game there. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it was alright. You're not too happy with the performance there, no? No, again, no, I lost my sight last Into your nine, your second pet match after the draw. Um, 3 0 defeat. What's your feelings and thoughts on the game? Uh, I'm disappointed, um, to be perfectly honest. I um, came into the game and uh, all my best players were down in form. And um, that's no excuse. I just didn't didn't play well. I didn't do what I'm good at, and that was like quick passing, putting players through into the channels and scoring easy goals. But uh, that weren't the case today. So yeah, disappointed. Hello. So um, after this three nil victory, um, I want to speak to the winning manager Stoic. Um, what's your thoughts on the game tonight? Uh... This this new team they're not bad you know and um, I think the difference was they just they're just not as experienced in this if you if you watch the game back they was on top at, at stages and so was I but um, I just knew when I wasn't on top it wasn't time to concede and when I got my moments I took them and and of course a bit of individual quality as well so yeah just three 0 you've got to be happy with that in this league we're coming from the um, serial winners and um, current champions. To say that um, he had his moments and you had yours. And in the end, it was a matter of know-how and experience and some individual quality. That's a huge um, compliment to the Inter Milan manager. He doesn't... I don't think he really changes how he plays for for his opposition, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But I had seen, I had seen what he did to Wanderers and I saw how open he was defensively. So that's what I mean about know-how and experience. So... I did certain things knowing that um, and how to defend as well. I defended a certain way because of how, what I saw him doing. So I was a bit ready for him. Maybe if this was in the first game, it would have been a bit even more difficult because how he plays is different. Everyone plays a different way, you know. So Everyone plays a different way, says the stoic manager. Look into those eyes. The eyes of a callous, sick man who will beat every team in front of him. He's not playing games. He's not playing games. The question is, who will be his next victim? Hello and welcome to Sweaty versus Alchemy. This is going to be a fantastic matchup. We have Sweaty in a sweaty yellow and Alchemy in a regal White. This is going to be a really, really serious matchup. Both teams know each other very, very well, um, so they should be used to each other. I'm going to go for a maybe a one-one draw. Immobile's won the ball off the centre half and he smashed it home. One nil to Sweaty. That wasn't really a sweaty goal. Um, you know, well, I mean, usually sweaty goals. There, what he would have been looking for is a little cheeky pass across the goal. To make sure, you know, you can just squeeze in that victory and really frustrate the opposition. But, um, you know, he's really gone for it there. Ploughed it home. And that's 1-0 to Sweaty. Immobile is looking at the fans like, go on, give me some. Ball headed down into the midfield. Oh, another set. Shot from just inside the box and it zipped past the alchemy post there. It's not looking so good for alchemy at the moment. I think... Is that... Well, you know, I think Alchemy very much, once they get a bit of steam, they're very, very good. But, um, you know, if you can catch them unaware, if you can get them, get a soccer punch against Alchemy, you really can get to them. But, um, do you say this from experience? Or? Well, you know, I've seen a lot of games where Alchemy has, you know, really 
thrown all the uh, toys out of the pram and said, you know, we we give up, but you've got to get them into that situation until you put that final nail in the coffin. Alchemy will always be ready for you. Mbappe here, he's got on the inside of the defender, and that is exactly what we were saying. You know, if you get your hands around Alchemy's neck, you have to choke the life out of him. Because if you give him an inch, he's going to kill you. I'm going to be honest. And that was great running there from Mbappe. He's held his run. He's come back in, taken a perfect touch, and he's just slotted it home past the goalkeeper. And that's going to be very, very, very frustrating for Sweaty, you know. Um, he's got a lot to fight back from here. And I think Alchemy are going to uh, probably take this and, you know, do a little bit more with it. Um, Paulinho in midfield. Condogbia, another through ball into Mbappe. Great goalkeeper there, but only as far as Gay's played it into Mbappe across the... And this is it. They've got another. It's a great finish there. But as I said before, you've got to ensure that once you get your lead against Alchemy, you've got to keep it up. Because, uh, you know, they're really, really killer going forward. Give them a few chances and they'll put them away and... You know, I think uh, Sweaty are uh, probably sweating a fair bit right now. And Zaha on the ball. He's giving it away, but he's got the ball back again. Gone into Kondogbia, pulling all those strings in the midfield. Mertens played it out wide to Serge. She's played it in. Malcolm slotted it home into the bottom corner. And it's not really looking good for uh, Sweaty at the moment. It's, you know, they're 3-1 down now. Alchemy are absolutely flying at the moment, and um, I would not like to be in Sweaty's position. So uh, you've got to do a bit more to get out to the winger there, the fullback, and you know goalkeeper shouldn't be beaten at his front post. But um, Mbappe played out wide to the goal scorer there. Mbappe is he onside? I believe he is. Is he going to do a Sweaty goal? Oh, no, he's not. He's going to smash that into the top corner, and that is 4-1. I'm just wondering, what, what happened to Sweaty? What, what, how his fall from grace has been sweat-tacular? Sweat sweat-tacular. I mean, to be honest, that is a fantastic use of words. And, you know, the pressure does get to you. The pressure definitely does get to you, and you've got to be able to hold your nerve. And I don't think the, uh, the lad has been able to hold his nerve. And I think, um, you know... The quality of Alchemy's players, if you do let that little bit slip, it's game over. And Mbappe there showed in true Alchemy fashion, you know, look at that pose, power pose there from him. Good night, good night for uh, Sweaty. Let's go on the ball now. Running through at Matip, Matip, you've got to close him down there. You've got to close him down. What are you doing? He's gone straight past him. He's gone for the shot and that's a great save there, but... Defender's got to do much better in that situation. Isco. Oh, he's played it through to Wilf. Can he get the ball into the box? That's great free there. Good tackle. He's managed to halt it there, but still with Paulinho. Zaha. Mbappe. Zaha. Oh, and that. Almost a sweaty goal there, but that was sheer brilliance. Absolute brilliance there from Alchemy. A beautifully taken finish from Mbappe to get his hat-trick. And that was just wonderful play there. I think, um, you know, as, as we said before, once they get the momentum, it's really, really hard to stop them. And, you know, it's great to see Wilfred Zahar. Um, he looks great in that kit, actually, to be honest. I think he looks really, really good. But that was a wonderful finish from Mbappe. And, you know, I fit, really do feel for Sweaty because what they should have done is tried to, you know, really frustrate Alchemy. And what they did, they let him back into the game. And um, as soon as you let him back in, it's very, very, very difficult to stop them. All right, so first question to United. Um, quite simply, where did it go so right for you? Basically, we played the bad day in pre-season a couple of times. And more time we got the better of you. Now... He's got his strengths that everybody knows about because they're really true and bland strengths. But I know certain weaknesses that he has. And I'm not going to talk too much about them because we sponsor that club. So we like them We, we like them to do well. But we know, we've seen some obvious weaknesses. And the way my team is set up, 
even not for just for this game, the, my general team style suits his his style on this game. So um, I don't want to say too much tactically. So I don't want to give myself away, and I don't want to bait up my old pal because we like we like that club. But you know, we're incisive again. That's all I'm gonna say. Just like against Boa, that's what saved us. We won big here because this guy's very aggressive. And when we got our chance, our incisiveness dealt them lethal blows. Another thing I will say is that we knew we had to match their desire because their desire is second to none. They're a force. And this result may make it seem differently. But like I said, it's a styles thing. My style suits his style. Um, but yeah, we matched them for desire. And I knew that had to happen at the, at the start was a bit nervy like against like in the Boa game and we have to get that out of our game and stop starting like that but he banged us early and that was good for us because then our desire kicked in early and then it was game on and there's a bit of a rasping from there but take nothing away from him he set up a bit in a way that's just just plays into our, our hands the way that we play and he hasn't learned from our friendlies he hasn't changed anything all right finally Two games, six points. Uh, so, what's the what's the plan for this season? The the target. We want to win title this this season. We got two stars on our um, shirt, representing when we won as kids, when when we played this thing, this 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 pet thing on paper, and uh, when we won on FIFA a few years ago. But we want we want another because you know to be a great club. You need you need titles. It can't it can't be so spaced out. You know our competitors, our main competitors, Zebra and Stoic. You know I wouldn't say they win more than us. It's may, maybe Stoic you can say they do, but you know their their wins are not as sporadic as ours. So to to to, to stay stating that we're a great club, a top top club, not just a big club, but our team. We need to win right about now. So we're we're looking for titles. Obviously. Um... Two games and no no wins, Sweaty. So last season, at this stage, I think you had six points. This time you got none. Uh, is it a spoon you're fighting against, or do you think this is just a little blip? Just played alchemy. You know, uh, I didn't really go into the match. I didn't train. I shouldn't have played him in preseason. He studied me like a book. You know, I've got a lot to learn. This season, you know, I need to start to concentrate, you know, have some more discipline. So, yeah, I just lost 5-1. They played well. I'm over, they got a goal. I mean, I'm happy about that, but, you know, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. Hard life. Hard life. Well, I did play the two teams which challenged me the most. So, you know, it's quite, it's quite hard to start the season off with the two teams which challenged me the most. But next game, I'll be definitely looking for a win. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Chris Clark. I'm Roger Sterling. Back to you in the studio. Hello and welcome to Zebra versus Boa. So we've got ourselves a nice little fixture here with Boa in yellow and Zebra in the red. Zebra attacking here, played into Neymar. This is probably the man that Boa wants to be looking out for. Played back, 1-2 there, off of Bamiyang. Neymar, he's got three men around him, crossed in, and that's a goal. Very, very early doors. That's a wonderful celebration. Have some of that. The 1-2s in there, they're like ants, the uh, Boa defenders. Like fire ants, they look like. They're not even wearing red. They're just all over the place. Terrible defending there. You've got to get tighter to Neymar. Put it back in. And actually, it's actually come off the defender. It's aided the pass into Aubameyang's feet there. Zebra on the attack again. Modric. Played it back to Thiago Silva. Out wide to Alaba. That's a ball put through to Neymar. And he's dinked it over Peter Chet. And that is two for a Zebra. 21st minute. Look at that celebration. Have some of that. You know, you've got to get closer. We've seen the two banks of four that's been broken up. The defensive midfielder's dropped back. Nowhere near. He's in no man's land. And you've got to get closer to Neymar there or he's going to pick you apart. That was a fantastic ball in behind, though. Beautiful through ball. 
It's just chipped over. Well, to be fair, Czech was nowhere near either. Um, Bowen now on the ball. Kandreva. Beautifully put over the top to Maria. And it's, a, it's very unlucky there. It's bounced off the post. Um, Zebra here with the corner. Whipped in quite high. Headed in. Oh, he's got to finish that. That's a great double save there from Peter Czech. Oh, that's lovely. He's got back up very, very quickly. And he's keeping a minute at the moment. And Dai can't give it away there. Cannot give it away there into Neymar. Neymar, Aubameyang. That's that one-two combination. They've been using that over and over again. Got to get closer to this guy. He's almost unstoppable on the ball. Can you get near him? Oh, beautiful little flick there. Wonderful. Rabona there from Neymar. Boa on the counter now. Played out wide. Musa cuts inside. Played through Kalasnic. She's got to put this one away. That's a great finish. Grab that ball and start again. 70th minute. You've still got time here, VFB Boa. If they are focused, they could somehow manage to grab something back from this. But at the moment... They really, really need to uh, get on the ball a little bit more. But that's a great finish. Keeper was nowhere near. Seems to have brought him out and um, didn't really seem to, to get too much joy there. Um, it's a lot of pace in both teams attacking-wise. And they're, they're getting a lot of goals from, you know, cutting it back, getting down, cutting it back, playing it through. Uh, and the strikers just banging it in. It's quite a brutal game today. Um, Juan Fran played into a Bamiang. That's the same one too. The same one too as before. Well done, Peter Cech. Uh, only as far as Arturo Vidal. He's not managed to uh, get it through here, Kondreva. He's giving it back to Vidal. Modric. Aubameyang. Can he play it through to Neymar? Yes, he can. Neymar slots it home. And that has got to be the final nail in the coffin for VFB Boa. It's a beautiful stadium there. Love the... Uh, crosses at the back. I wonder if that's a statue of the uh, gaffer there behind the goal. Um, it's great play there. They've got to watch out for that combination. Uh, any teams playing against Zebra, those two uh, find each other so well. Um, that's it, game over. Uh, Boa, um, your second game in the league. Um commiserations on, a, on another defeat, second defeat in a row, a 3-2 loss. Obviously, um, that was a close game. What are your thoughts and feelings on, on this game? Fuck commiserations. Yeah, it's, it's what it is, B. Right now, we're just hitting post. We're just doing mad shit. But, you know, you just can't keep pressing that button. It will go in. But yeah, another close game. Rovers did what Rovers do. Mastery of Neymar. The difference in that match was Neymar. There's no question about it. And even my, my white man defenders couldn't deal. So that, that's a real situation. Normally my defence saves the day. But that Neymar kid has got a mind of his own. Definitely a special player who we expected to um, we expected more of in the first game that um, Zebra played. But um, yeah, you you showed great uh, re re defense against um, for seventy minutes against Alchemy, and um, everybody I think Zebra expected uh, you to be very tough to break down. So you you put that down to the individual brilliance of Neymar. Um, going forward now, um, two games, two defeats. How are Boa looking to bounce back now going forward? My game plan is every game I want to chip one keeper. That That's what I'm on right now. And we're just going to keep that going through to the end of this league. And better believe where I come from. That means something. Niggas is getting chipped one per game. That's, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. Congratulations on a 3-2 victory against VFB Boa. Um, it seems the talisman Neymar is off the mark now. After somewhat subdued game by his standard in your first match, um, how does it feel to finally be up, up and running, seemingly back into to your groove? Would you say? I don't know about back into the groove. It was a tough match against a reasonably good side, but a side we should be beaten. Um, but disappointed with the goals we see. There was something weird going on with our defence. Both his goals were just pretty simple moves that we usually defend. So that was upsetting, but. 
good thing was being ahead for you know the mid well for all the game we were usually we were mainly two goals ahead for most of the game so we were quite comfortable we kind of had his chances but you know we you know, we kind of knew that as long as we put Neymar in the right positions he wouldn't be able to deal with it so would you say that you adjusted the way that you played the talisman Neymar or was it just that this particular opposition in VFB Boa just didn't have the tools to um, deal with him? Didn't adjust at all. Uh, they didn't have the tools. I watched him against um, yeah, Alchemy and I saw the sort of uh, spaces he was leaving and I kind of had a feeling that those would be the spaces that Neymar would pop up in. You know, and the result is he gets uh, an assist and two goals, um, and then Abamyang getting the other goal. So um, yeah, I think it's uh, no adjustment. We just knew that uh, from watching the sort of spaces he was leaving against Alchemy that if those spaces arise against us, we'll, we'll finish the chances. Hello and welcome to Total Football Wanderers versus Rangers. It should be a good game we're looking forward to it both teams are working very very hard to uh, get to where they would like to be in the league i think um you know rangers haven't had the the victories that they've been looking for um and wanderers have been uh, caught oh that's a great header just gone wide there by coutinho and uh, that's Great bit of football there. Got it wide. They're going to be getting it wide a lot. Our uh, total football wanderers. And it's whipped in. And they've got to do more there. Balls one in the centre of midfield. Cut back. It's David Luiz. It's gone for the second ping. They really do like to switch this ball. And uh, Rangers need to be aware of this. If they're going to stop them from uh, getting in behind. That's ball been pinged over there. Uh, challenged there. Depay by Pereira but he's got it past Laporte left foot whip Cavani boom it's the bottom corner and that is 1-0 to total football wanderers they are well known for getting that ball wide whipping it into the box and uh, the wanderers manager is going to be very very pleased their tactics seem to be working very very well there I think um, you know personally the, the defender's got to do more there you cannot be bullied like that by Cavani. I think he's a great player, but he's just got on top of him there. He's nowhere near to the ball. And that's ended up in the back of the net. Figlia. Robin. Cut it back to Lamar. Challenged there by Pedro. That's great strength. Out to Hulk. He looks for the feet of Benzema. Back into the midfield with Coutinho. He's gone for the slide. Cavani's cut it back. Coutinho. Challenged. He's been bodied there by Lindros. Robin. Whips it in again. It's a great punch there by, I think that's Bravo in goal. Back to Lamar. What's he got for us here? That's one again in the midfield there. It's gone out to Benzema. Out wide to Hulk. Striding forward here. What's he got in front of him? Nothing. He's cut it back. Benzema. Into the feet of Pedro, I believe, is that? Benzema again. Boom. Top corner. That's a goal. Honey Badgers are back into it. Look at that. Come over, lads. Let's have a little celebration. He believes in this. He's very, very happy with his move over to the Honey Badgers. He's loving life here. He's the main man. I don't think he would have had that same position if he was still at Zebra. And he's he seems to be happy scoring his goals there, the Frenchman. That's a fantastic finish. And, you know, if you give him a little bit of space, he's going he's gonna to make you uh, suffer for it. That's the same ball over... To the wide again, Robin. It's one there by Motta, but it's bounced out, it seems to. Back to total. Lyon. Oh, that's easy pickings there. He's got to put that away. Robin. Lyon's won the ball back. It's out wide again. That's a beautifully whipped ball, but he's got to do better at the back stick. Lamar. Here it is, Lamar. Cut back into the midfield. Coutinho striding through. That's a great tackle by Motta. He's not completely won it. And Motta's got to do better than that. You cannot give away silly free kicks. That's a definite yellow card. Manager's going to be very frustrated with that. Ball's played into Vardy's feet. Vardy, great turn. He's done one, but he's not managed to do two. David Luiz. 
gone forward, played it into the feet of Cavani, and that's a horrible tackle there. And this is classic, classic kind of badgers. They're flying into tackles. They don't want to give them any space. They're trying to slow down the play. Look at those twos. Barnett's matching. Have a word. Have a word, Gaffers. You've got to sort that out. Right, ball's running down there. Depay into Cavani. Cavani out wide to Depay again. Are they going to whip it in? Oh, oh it's cut back. Memphis He's whipped Depay. it in again, and that's very, very obvious, but they can't seem to defend Chance. it. It's a great Go little through. bit of skill there by Lamar. He shot it. Oh, I think no if uh, Rangers there. keep at it with this defence, they might be able to keep to the victory. I'm not the too sure Lamar back on the ball. Out to Cavani, played back through to Lamar. Got to get closer. Great save there by the keeper. Seems to be keeping a minute at the moment. You can see his frustration. He's got to be much better than that. A very poor finish. You know, he's one on one with the keeper pretty much. Got to put that away. It's got to be more inventive. But, uh, balls whipped in from the corner. Headed out very, very well. Up, back out wide to Coutinho. Cuts past one. Back inside the court. Coutinho. Chipped in. And that's another goal. Cavani. Very, very frustrating to concede a goal like that. They've got to just hold it out, and that's taunting the Honey Badgers fans. Taunting them. You've got to defend that better. I don't know why he's not got up there. The same thing over and over again. Every one of their opportunities, apart from their past one, there have been the same chipped in, and uh, the Rangers manager will be very, very frustrated with that result. Honey Badgers, um, a 2-1 disappointing result against uh, Wanderers who um, have one point so far but have, have been talking like the wins on the card. Um, I think you claimed that uh, they may be uh, De Boer at Palace. So, looks like, is it the case of De Boer's got his first win? They were better than you thought. What happened? Talk us through it. Um... I, I think I've been very, very clear that we've not been good enough and we're still not good enough. Um, I think we've been hit by some serious injuries. And um, I think, yeah, to be honest, if you watch the performance, it's very, very, very poor defending. Um, two Cavani headers can definitely be stopped. Uh, fullbacks have got to do more. Uh, 83rd minute, I think the goal was scored, the second. You can't have your defenders streaming out of the box. I don't know tactically what was going on. Um, but yeah, full props to to Wanderers. They they got their win, and um, it was it was there for the taking. I think um, if uh, we'd been in our right frame of mind, we'd have finished more chances. Had a very very easy chance with Vardy that was squandered just through not really having that feel for it. And I think it's it's early in the league, and um, you know if he plays like that against us next time, maybe we'll get a result. But to be honest. Um, yeah, not really, not really playing how we should play. Um, yeah, it's just, just very bad average. Um, sounds like an honest assessment, a little bit perhaps dismissive of your opponent's qualities and some fighting talk saying that if he plays the same way next time, you may get a result. Um, but um, it's interesting. We, 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 we can only hope for the Honey Badgers fans that you'll get into your right minds soon. But I think you make the point that it is early on in the league. So we wish you good luck and uh, thanks thanks for your time. Um, so looking forward, uh, how do you feel about, um, as you said, it's early days, how do you feel about things for Honey Badgers, the complexion of things now, um, considering your next fixture is um, Sweaty, who came second last year, but haven't had the greatest start themselves. Do you know what I'm looking forward to a game against Sweaty, to be honest? I think it's going to be played in the right spirit. I think it's going to be played on time. Um, and I think it's going to be an enjoyable fixture. Um, you know, I don't want to say too much because obviously, you know, uh, the nature of uh, speaking your mind and things like this, people people, people take your words in the wrong way. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's um, it's it's a lot of time. Uh, that you take out of your your life to be a part of this, um, and you know, sweaty is the sort of um, opposition that will respect that and um, get your games 
uh, done properly and, and play it in the right spirit. And, and, and that's what I enjoy and that's why I'm in the pep. Um, so I'm looking forward to him. I think he's got uh, an interesting playing style and I'm, I'm looking forward to a good game. Um, but yeah, majorly, I think it's not going to be too much hassle and I'm, I'm not going to lose too much stress um, in the organisation of the game. Wanderers, congratulations on your first victory of the season. Uh, you promised that it was to come, that you'd F some teams up, quote unquote. So, uh, I think it's uh, the third game now and you've got your victory. So that's four points in three games. That changes the complexions of things in a big way. Um, people started to maybe think this was going to be a bad season, but you guys were positive. You believed. Um, talk us through how you got your first victory against a club that hasn't started so well, but we all know aren't really pushovers. Can, can you talk us through it? It was, um, you know, I saw that the way that they lined up, they had um, some attacking minded fullbacks who, you know, I thought were offensive and might vacate their position. Uh, they were quite compact as well, so that let us have a really uh, quite uh, efficient switching game, just getting the balls out to the flanks and making some crosses. And we had a uh, Cavani on form up front, so you know I always fancied that we was going to score goals in this game, just from the way that the two teams were set up. Uh, when they came out, they did attack us and go toe for toe, and you know that's the way that we, you know, we couldn't have picked them to play any more to our liking. Really, they're a decent attacking team. Um, first goal came, you know. Decent attack, uh, fullback overlapped uh, on the wing, put in a lovely cross. It was Laporte playing out position at left back. Uh, stuck, held it up to the back stick. Cavani scored. Then we gave them a goal, you know, just through, um, you know, playing at the back and uh, not being at the rhythms of, you know, online play really. But you know, Benzema stuck it away. But you know, I always felt confident that we'll get um, another goal. Um, I don't think that this is Rangers at their best at all. Uh, we played better against Rapid, in all honesty. But the one thing that I did say to myself is that, you know, I wanted to have 10 shots on goal this game because last time we didn't shoot enough against Rapid. Uh, we got eight shots, three on target. And, you know, I think that, like I said beforehand after the um, game of Vinci and Anne, this team's better when we've got Cavani up front because he just gives us that um, sort of cutting edge to our attack. So, um, yeah, obviously happy with the three points. Decent performance, but we know that, you know, the best is we're getting into our rhythm. Usually in this stage of the league, we've defaulted games and stuff like that. So uh, we know that it's all about how we finish and how we are on, on the, you know, other side of the year. But, you know, Rangers done all right. I don't think that they played anywhere near their best. And it was one of those games where we could, we could have drew, but, you know, we're, we're happy with the win. The fact that usually by this stage, some results haven't gone the way Wanderers would have liked them to go and you would have defaulted the league. Um, this would be really um, encouraging for the um, Wanderers fans to hear um, the way that you're speaking with uh, clarity and long vision, saying that you're, you're in it for the, um, the marathon, so to speak, and you're going to look to gain your rhythm and then see where it leaves you. Um, so with that in mind, how do you see the next few games going now? You feel that you may be picking up your rhythm. I'm not sure who the next um, who the next opponents are for Wanderers. Perhaps you know. But looking forward, how do you see the complexion of things? Uh, how 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 how's people feeling in the Wanderers camp about the immediate future? Yeah, I think um, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be obviously it's going to be a long season um, for everyone. Um, you know, it's it's one of those ones where we're we're always confident. Uh, we're, we're we're more confident against the uh, true football playing teams. Guys that come out want to play, want to play uh, offensive. Nothing against defensive play. And to be honest, my advice to anyone playing against us is just park the bus and counter attack, and you've got a chance of actually taking the points. But um, you know, we'll betide you if you want to come and uh, attack us because you may win. But you know, we we like games of football, and you know, we 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 fancy ourselves in in a football match against anyone. Um, so yeah, um, you know, I think uh, you know, in in reference to uh, what, what old Jack's saying with regards to the fixtures, I I do apologise, and I'll just like to end on this one, Frank. Who mate? Uh, who's Frank the ball now?